Hello guys, welcome back to a new video on the One Sister channel where we talk about everything Fortnite creator related. Today I'm going to be going over the Switch device and everything it has in store for us. This Switch allows you to turn things on and off. There's different designs for the Switch and many things you can do with it than just turn it on and off. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so you can find the switch in your creative menu in your devices right here or you could type in switch into the search bar click place now and it should place and then once you place it down it'll pop up just like this so let's go into the settings of this and see what we have to start off we have the basic one enable game start do you want it enabled or disabled this is a device this does not mean on or off this is just enable and disable the initial state do you want the initial state to be on or off your choice Next one down here, visible or in-game. Do you want the switch to be visible or not visible? Yes or no? These two is the turn on and off text. What it will say when you turn the button on and off. So you could just write on and off here or you can have a custom message of whatever you would like. Next one down here, device model. This is actually a cool thing. There's an antique lever. There's different kind of styles you can make it. You can make it a red button, like an Among Us thing or something where you can click the red button to call a meeting. Or you could do whatever you want. There's red button. There's a ton more they added. Circuit breaker. Look at this. Cool. That's so cool. You can use it in like adventure maps. This is a very good thing to use for adventure maps instead of just a normal button. Next one down here, we have sound. Do you want the sound enabled or disabled? Your choice. Next one, we got interaction time. This is the time it takes to turn on or off the button. So it's basically the length to toggle the switch. Next one on here, times can change. So this is how many times you can toggle it on or off. So how many times can you interact with the button? So you can set it for one all the way up to 100. Next one down here, interaction cooldown. This is the cooldown between toggles. So say you do a toggle, how much time do you want there to be before you can toggle it back on or off? Next one down here is allowed class. This allowed class is what class is allowed to toggle the button and what team is allowed to toggle the button. So these are what class and what team are allowed to toggle it on and off. Next one down here, interaction radius. This is the radius that the button can be toggled on. So like the area. So I set this, say if I set this for one meter, there we go. It'll have a little bubble just like the button. And this is the range where they can toggle it on and it shows you if you slowly go up to it, you'll be able to toggle it on, toggle it on from this far away. That's basically it. I'm going to set that for zero right now because we don't really need it. Next one down here, check state at game start. Do you want to check the state? That means make sure it's on or off. Do you want this to check it? And when it checks it, it just may send out a channel if it's on or off when we choose that on the bottom settings. Next one down here, check switch state when disabled. So whenever the device is disabled, do you still want it to check the state of the button? Say I disable device and put it for no, or no, put it for yes. If I if the device is disabled and you still want it to check the state of it, you can put it for yes, or if it's enabled, you can put it for no. Next one down here, this is a more confusing one. I actually had to check this one over myself, but basically what this means, use persistence. This is basically any data that you want to load back up from your save device from other games for the player. So the thing is, once you toggle this on to use, it will pop up a ton more settings. You see right here, we got resolve conflicts, pr prioritize on, pri pri prioritize off, first player, majority. There's so many different settings. You guys, are gonna look, you guys will have to look through these. There's store state per player. So like you could store the state of the button per player. So the player is the only one that could see if it's on or off. So basically use persistence is just that individual player will see that the button is on or off. So I'm gonna put that for do not use right now because we don't need it. Next one down here, enable, disable. You guys got this down yet? Every single video, this is to enable, enable the device on the channel and disable the device on the channel. Next one down here, 
is turn on when receiving from and turn off when receiving from. This is actually the toggle of the switch. People get confused between the enable and disable and turn on and off. It's pretty self-explanatory, but some people do get confused between these. So you can either turn it on or off. This is actually the switch position. Do you want it on or off? Uh, so yeah, you get to pick. And this is turn on on a channel and turn off on a channel. Next one on here, toggle state from receiving from. This is basically the same thing as the turn on and turn off ones, but this is just toggling it on and off. So say you want to make a map where the button automatically toggles on and off when you want it to, then this is the setting that will do that with a channel. Next one on here, check state when receiving from. So this is the ch to check the state of the button. So th if you sent the channel to here, it will... Um, Check the state of the button, and then if you come down here, it's down here, we'll get to it in a second. But when the ch state changes transmit, and when checked on, when checked off, uh, we'll get to that in a second. So this applies to the these two down here. I don't know why they made it so far up, but that's just how Epic Games likes to do things, apparently. Next one down here, when turned on and when turned off, transmit on a channel. So when the button is turned on, it'll transmit a channel, and when turned off, transmit a channel. This is pretty self-explanatory. And these will only work when the, cha when the state is checked. If the state hasn't been checked, it will not uh, transmit on any of these channels. Next one down here, when state changes, transmit, you could have a general state. So this is when the state changes. So when it turns on or off, it will immediately send this channel out. Next one down here, uh, like I said before, these are applied to check state we're receiving from. So whenever you check your state from a channel, it'll check if it is on or off. So if on, when checked, transmit on. So whenever it's on, when checked, it'll transmit on a channel. And whenever it's off, when checked, it'll transmit on another channel. And this is only when the state is checked. So that's all pretty much the settings for the Switch device. I know a lot of you have been wanting me to go over it. Uh, if you do want to me to go over any other devices please leave them down in the comments below and if you want you can join my discord to message me personally but if this video did help you out leave a like and subscribe thank you so much we are gaining subscribers rapidly we're go we're getting up on the boards but thank you guys so much for that and if you want to support me even further you can use code peeper1235 in the fortnite item shop to help me out that helps tremendously if you want to support the channel also there's a super thanks button if if you want to use it you don't have to but thank you guys for watching i will see you all in the next one a sister out